Hello YouTube fam, it's your Uncle Tim. We almost there. This is part four. This is the final video. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Warhammer 40k. Bro, let's see what we got. Man, this box is heavy as hell. Figure looks amazing. Got McFarlane. Let that boy do some quality work. Let's see what we got. Wow. They got it on the box itself. The whole damn thing. He's gigantic and heavy. So I hope the cover one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, nine figures in this video to unbox. Man, I don't like all the little class pieces. Man, because they uh sometimes they be so hard to take off. Man, that color is beautiful. All the symbolism and every damn thing else, man. Perfect for two pair. While they were on sale. You heard what I just said. I said, while they was on sale. But that's one thing about a lot of these. Everything is so hard to come out. Huh. The jetpack for the back. Man. Hmm. Eh, we'll get that on later. But man, that looks cool. Giant gun. Man. That's what you call action figures, bro. Stuff where you can see your money. That's one. Next one we have the Warhammer Tenerit, whatever it is. Looks amazing. And the veteran of Beautiful morning. <laughs> it's me. Man. Had to hurry up and get the stuff out of all these boxes, man. Boxes seem like they were taking over. Man. Dude, this look crazy. You gotta do a lot of stuff to get in there. Probably put them in the wrong spot, but who cares? And yes, I did. You know, 
young dude kid if he puts stuff in the wrong spot. Ow. That figure got a lot of sharp parts. So if you get this figure, man, just be careful. There's a lot of sharp parts on this thing. But it looks amazing as hell. That shit looks wild. Damn. Yeah, these are not for kids, bro. I'm going to be honest. This is from the Depth of Battle Systems. Man. Boxes are so man. When they tie this stuff in, just tie it in. Big sword gun or whatever that is. Another giant gun. is amazing. It's gigantic. Look at that. Man, quality figure. Quality work. Next one we have is Dark Angels. Assault Intercessor Sergeant. Man, shit, that's a lot. But, you know, again, these toys here are not for kids. Too many sharp moving parts. Somebody could get hurt. Things are sharp. So the back comes off. channel being video games. Dude, I got so many things that I want to do. And like I said, finding a way to do it is like some of the harder parts. We have a whole lot of giant accessories, giant gun. Giant gun sword. Flight pack. That looks crazy. And the actual figure. Damn thing looks amazing as hell, don't it, fam? Man, look at all of that. Amazing. So we have a lot of figures up here, fam, so far. Now we're about to go to Brooklyn. Disney Gargoyles. Hey. The goal is to have all this stuff unboxed. Because I'm not an inbox collector. And you know Disney Gargoyles don't have stands. It's made by, you know, I made by my These are his giant wings. Now again, each figure, wings come with another figure. For the folded wings, they come with other figures. But man, these are real stiff and brittle, so be very careful with these, especially the pig parts. You don't want to break these ends. Man. So this is the actual figure. We actually have a scroll, a pair 
wear sunglasses. His tail. His extra head. Crazy. He looks more like a dragon to me. Lance, his sword, or whatever this is, spear. Or... Got a whole bunch of extra hands. Man, extra hands up the walk. Now, getting them out. I'm going to do a video with all of them set up on the table. But, you know, some people said they were to see. The unboxer. And again, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a master unboxer, as a lot of you can tell. Also, we got the figure. Right? Brooklyn. Look at that. His mouth opens up. That's crazy. Man, the lion cloth. Tail goes in the back, the long hair, the interchangeable, the posable feet. These NECA figures are expensive, but getting this guy for $25 instead of $37 was a good deal. Just imagine how much bigger he is with these giant ass wings. I don't know if I'm going to put these on. Because that make it harder to put them anywhere. So, oh man, we're getting close. We're getting close, guys. We're almost there. Now we got DC Multiverse, some of the special figures. We got uh, Catwoman, Platinum. Now I know a lot of y'all said, oh, that's a sin to take that out of the box. Maybe so, man. Maybe so. But I'm not an inbox collector, and, and I can't display boxes in my area too well. I wanna, only things I'm going to display is the fi uh, starting lineup. I've been looking for these figures for a long time. And uh, the guy offered me a deal on it. Well, you know, I paid above cost, but it was still a deal, considering how much everybody else was selling these for. So I was happy about that. Damn, the figure is lightweight. It's really light. It's well detailed. The scope is very clean, man. The colors pop. Just everything about this figure screen badass. Amazing figure overall. Um, the accessories, which is half the best. The hat mask. Remember, half of the mask got broken when he was fighting Bane. The pearls. Take everything out, those the hands. Make sure I got that one back there with the stuff. And that's broken and stuff. Man. Man. Oh, we got Tokyo Skydive. No, that's Hong Kong Skydive. I keep saying Tokyo, I don't know why. Oh, man. I've been really waiting to get this figure, man. And everybody been saying how much of a great figure it comes with a flight stand. Man. You know, my first step is to get the thing out the box. And that way I can, you know, work from there. Uh, man. The cake. The funny material. Man, look at that. Look at that cake. Look at it blow, man. Look at that. Look at him. 
Boy, that boy is badass. This is amazing. Dude, you can just imagine this. The cape is lightweight. Dude, that is badass. Yeah. We're almost there, fam. We have Batman Hong Kong Skydive, The Dark Knight. And, you know, these last four figures are DC Multiverse. I'm pretty sure everybody, you know, know that, so I don't have to say it. And I was watching this Batman the other day, man. Watching the clips when he was actually skydiving off the building. And the funny thing is, if you notice, he skydived off the building, off of this one building, and went back in the same building. How many of y'all caught that? I thought I was the only one that probably caught that. I told my wife, I said, you went into the same damn building. She said, maybe that's a different building. The gun, which is really flimsy, so be careful with that. Uh, the actual vest that goes across the bat. I guess the shoe. Man. Then you have the bombs. And here's a mask. Hong Kong skydive Batman without the mask. Same figure, platinum and regular. Amazing. Last figure we have Batman, Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, Judge, now that's George Clooney, right? No, that's Ben Affleck. Yup, that's Ben Affleck. Man, so we went through a hell of a lot of figures today. Man, that's crazy as hell, how many figures we went through. You know what? That's part of collecting. The everything part. Man, how many of y'all seen that new episode of X-Men 87? Dude. That's almost like a mini movie had in doing these, man. Dude. Actually enjoying it. And the thing that really got me was they're making it seem like Magneto was wrong for declaring war on the humans. After everything that done happened, man, it's crazy. But man, this Ben Affleck uh Batman looks amazing. I love the emblem on the chest. Dawn of Justice. Then the last thing we have is the accessories. I thought Batman versus Superman could have been a lot better. Here go the actual gun, the batarangs, and the extra hands, and another batarang. Fam, I want to say thank you for watching my unboxing. Man, this one lasted a minute, like the first one, so thank you for watching. Peace out.